the reproduction in human beings. And we'll start with the structure and function of the male reproductive system. So on that, um, we'll start by having a, a diagram. Put the diagram on this side. So the structure of the male reproductive system is made of uh, the following parts. Uh, we have uh, the testes. We have the epididymis. Then we have the sperm duct, also known as the vas deferens. Then we have the urethra. Then we have the penis. Then we have some glands. We have the prostate gland <clears throat> we have the seminal vesicle and then we have the corpus gland so those are the parts that form the male reproductive system Of course, this is uh, the urinary bladder, which is supposed to be part of the urinary system. So the urinary bladder is not part of the reproductive system, but it's part of the urinary system or the part of the excretory system. So we're going to look at uh, the functions of each of those parts, and uh, we'll start with the Testis. Testis is the singular. So the testes have two main functions. And uh, we are saying that they are oval shaped. So these ones are two oval shaped structures. And these structures, they produce the sperms, which are the male gametes. And number two, they also produce the male hormones. Male hormones called androgens. So that is basically the function of the testes. We are saying that there are two oval shaped structures that, are, that produce the sperms and also they produce the male hormones that are known as the androgens. Uh, we can also say that the testes are located outside the body cavity outside the body cavity within the scrotum or the scrotal sac so you can also show that so you have the scrotum there and uh, the reason why the sperm cells uh, the testes are located outside uh, the body cavity is because the process of sperm production occurs at a temperature below the body temperature. So the testes are located outside the body cavity within the scrotum uh, because sperm production 
occurs at a temperature below the body temperature. A temperature below the body temperature. <coughs> then, it's also good to note that uh, sperm production involves meiosis. Meiosis is a type of cell division that occurs within the testes that leads to the formation of, of sperms. So the uh, sperm production involves meiosis and occurs in small tubes in small tubes within the testes called seminiferous tubules seminiferous tubules so that is the point where the sperm production occurs and then after the testes we have the epididymis so this is a coiled tube where the sperms are stored so this is a is a coiled tube for storage of sperms so once they are produced in the seminiferous tubules, they are stored within the epididymis. Then we have the number three, the sperm duct, also known as the vas deferens. The vas deferens or the sperm duct. This is a long tube that carries the sperms to the urethra to the urethra then we have the prostate we have the glands we have the prostate gland this one secretes an alkaline fluid, produces an alkaline fluid that A, activates the sperms, activates the sperms, neutralizes the acidity of the urethra so the urethra is acidic because it's also the passage of urine the urine that is coming from the urinary bladder also passes through the urethra so there is the chances of acidity as a result of the urine so the prostate gland releases an alkaline fluid that neutralizes that uh, acidity. Uh, the acidity of the urethra and uh, vaginal fluids. The acidity of the vaginal fluids. And then we have uh, the seminal vesicle is another gland. The seminal vesicle also produces an alkaline fluid. Also produces an alkaline fluid that nourishes 
the sperms. An alkaline fluid that provides nourishment to uh, the sperms. Then we have the urethra. This one is the ejaculatory duct where the semen passes during ejaculation. Uh, then we have uh, the penis. This is the copulatory organ is the organ that allows copulation or sexual intercourse to take place for sexual intercourse. So basically we have those uh, parts of the male uh, reproductive system uh, plus their functions, plus their functions all the way from the testes all up to the penis which is the organ that is usually used for sexual intercourse or the copulatory uh, organ. <laughs>